Hello, I'm Dr. Nan Mahavich. I teach at North Central and Global Studies, and I decided to share the story of Christmas from the Gospels of Matthew and Luke with pictures by Jane Ray. I think this is a familiar story to you. In the days of Herod, the king of Judea, there was a virgin who was planned to be married to a man named Joseph. She lived in the city of Nazareth, and her name was Mary. And there's Nazareth. And the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto her, and he said, Hail, thou who hast highly favored, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among all women. Fear not, for you shall bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus, and he shall be great. And he shall be called the Son of the Highest, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. So all went to be taxed, every one to his own city. And you can see them traveling with their cats and their dogs and their birds and their donkeys. And Joseph also went to Judea to be taxed, with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there in the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered of her child. So you can see Mary here on the donkey. She's very pregnant. But it's a busy town. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them at the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And the angels were gone away from them into heaven. The shepherds said to one another, Let's now go to Bethlehem and see this thing which the Lord hath made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they'd seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all that heard it wondered at those things which were told to them by the shepherds. So the shepherds became the first witnesses of the birth of Christ. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and we have come to worship him. Notice what's in the boat with them. Their steeds, there's an elephant, a camel, and a horse, I think. And when Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when you have found him, bring me word again.
that I may come and worship him also. But would you trust a king like that? So when they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they had saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. And they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And being warned of God that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country. And behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, and flee unto Egypt, for Herod will seek to destroy him. When he arose, he took the child and his mother and departed into Egypt as refugees. But when Herod was dead, Joseph took the young child and his mother and returned to Nazareth. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, and the grace of God was upon him. And that is the Christmas story. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and remember the story of Christ's birth.